The 2015 Nissan Frontier diesel runner powered by Cummins. Thanks to a few new players in the market, the mid-sized truck battle looks be reviving. News about GM's new mid-size trucks getting diesels have also stirred up a frenzy, starting with Nissan. What you see here is the Frontier Diesel Runner, a concept truck built to gauge consumer interest in diesel-powered, mid-sized trucks. The truck itself is barely changed from the production line, but features a 2.8-liter, i4 turbodiesel built by renowned engine builder Cummins. The Cummins-Nissan partnership isn't new, however, as the pair have plans to power the next-generation Nissan Titan with a 5.0-liter V8 turbodiesel in 2015. The Frontier's diesel engine is expected to produce around 200 horsepower and more than 350 pound-feet of torque, all while increasing fuel efficiency by 35% over the standard 4.0-liter, gasoline V6 engine. It's backed by a ZF-sourced 8HP 708-speed automatic transmission. The new engine transmission combo is expected to tow and haul roughly the same as the conventional gasoline Frontier. Nissan and Cummins did have to modify the truck slightly to get the powertrain nestled within the engine bay and transmission tunnel. Saving room and further development, this Frontier lacks the optional four-wheel drive and added complexities the system brings to a driveline. It's very unlikely the Frontier will be sold with a diesel option in its current generation. Nissan is hard at work developing the second-generation Titan pickup, and will likely turn its attention at the Frontier once development is competed there. We expect a new Frontier won't be far behind the new 2015 Titan. If Nissan chooses to include a diesel as a powertrain option, it's likely to happen then. Click past the jump to read more about the 2015 Nissan Frontier diesel runner powered by Cummins. Exterior The diesel runner's exterior is relatively unchanged from the stock Frontier Desert Runner on which it started life as. A catchy graphics package spices up the look complete with painted wheels front and back. The wheels are standard equipment for the production Desert Runner, but for this application, Nissan added some character with the red lift wheels out back. The biggest change is in the hood. It's molded from clear plastic and covered with a matte gray finish, save for a large Cummins logo left clear with the company name scripted in the center. Not only does the graphic help brand the partnership between Nissan and Cummins, it lets passerbys peer into the engine bay to find the diesel power plant. Interior Changes to the interior are minimal as well. Red carpet and red trim pieces replace the original black fare. Most noticeable are the three auxiliary gauges mounted atop the center console. A pyrometer, exhaust gas temperature, boost gauge and transmission temperature gauge help keep the driver informed about under hood statuses. Drivetrain This is where the story lies. The Cummins sourced 2.8 liter i4 turbo diesel produces roughly 200 horsepower and over 350 pound feet of torque. Power is sent to the rear wheels via a ZF-sourced 8HP 708-speed automatic transmission. Although towing and payload capacities are expected to remain the same, the diesel does afford some impressive fuel economy increases. A 30% jump in miles per gallon is expected over the 4.0-liter, V6 engine normally at home under the Frontier's hood. A 3.13 axle ratio helps the mileage situation by providing tall gearing intended for more highway use. Prices There's definitely no word on pricing yet as this frontier is just a concept. However, that's not going to stop us from speculating. The 2014 Nissan Frontier Desert Runner in crew cab configuration on which this concept is based has a starting price of $26,200, figure in the average cost of opting for the oil burner, and you're looking at an addition $5,000 to $6,000 cost. Note, opting for the diesel in most HD trucks costs upwards of $7,000, so we figure prices would drop for the smaller, less powerful i4 diesel in the midsize category. Competition 2016 Chevrolet Colorado, GMC Canyon There's really no mid-sized competitors sporting diesel engines these days. The only other truck with a diesel power plant is the upcoming Colorado, Canyon. Even then, the diesel version won't make it to market until the truck's second year in production. 
GM's 2.8-liter Duramax i4 turbodiesels outputs have yet to be announced, but the Euro-spec version currently puts out 200 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque, quite similar to what Cummins has in the Frontier. 2014 Ram 1500 EcoDiesel Sure, it is a full-size pickup, Ram will begin offering a V6 turbodiesel in their full-sized 1500 truck beginning this year. That truck just received an EPA rating of 28 mpg combined, an impressive number for a full-size truck weighing much more than the smaller Frontier. Conclusion Bringing diesels to the midsize truck market is a win-win for everybody. More power and torque help haul loads more effectively while simultaneous getting better fuel mileage. The two downsides to going diesel have traditionally been buy-in costs and higher operating expenses. Although regular oil changes might cost more, diesels tend to last longer in between rebuilds than their gasoline counterparts. It's the old conundrum of pick your poison. Love it 30% increase in fuel efficiency loads of low-end torque the Cummins nameplate is undeniably cool. Leave it higher buy-in price higher operating expenses we'll have to wait a few years before this actually happens. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.